Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Josie's Point of View, where we focus on human nature stories from the Carolinas and beyond. Today it's Saturday, and it's October the 22nd, 2022. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend to you a warm welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you find the information here for, to be informative. And if you're a return viewer, by all means, thank you for coming back. You know, I always say the tide changes so frequently here on these YouTube streets. So you always have to acknowledge where your support comes from. And I want you to know, I sincerely thank you for your support. Feel free to like and to share this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And our story today comes from Robbins Air Force Base, which is located in Houston County in Georgia. Take a look at the headline. And it reads, Air Force daycare workers allegedly force kids to fight each other. I'll provide you with a summary here, and as always, I'll place links to a few of the full articles in the description box. Now, as we begin this video, I thought the best place for us to start was to look and see how the installation views itself. And if you look at the top of this slide, it said they see themselves as the installation of excellence. And to the bottom, they describe themselves as the best base to live, learn, work, and play. And it makes you wonder whether or not that transcribes to the way military children are being treated. And this is definitely one of those videos that's going to leave you shaking your head in disbelief and probably in disgust as well. And to me, it's probably one of the worst cases of child abuse I've heard about as it pertains to the care of military dependents. And this is definitely not something you would expect to be taking place on any military installation, but it did. And as a result, two child care workers and one supervisor are now facing dozens of charges to include child abuse, cruelty to children, child endangerment. And if they're found guilty, they would be subjected to very lengthy jail sentences. And the source of our information today was obtained from the U.S. Attorney General's Office for the Middle District of Georgia. And as you can see from this document, the date on the document was just a um, short time ago, Tuesday, 11 October 2022. And it reads, former Robbins Air Force Base daycare employees indicted for cruelty to children, simple battery, failure to report, suspected child abuse. Now, in this 30 count indictment, investigators allege the child care workers coerced 14 children into fighting each other on multiple occasions. They describe this incident as brutal fights. Brutal is the words used, and that should send shockwaves through any parent who has to leave their child at a daycare. But that is not all. Among other allegations, form of abuse by these daycare workers included striking the children and kicking them as well. So not only were they hitting them, they were kicking them too. Spraying two children in the face and neck with cleaning solution. Seizing and shaking a child while threatening to strike that child. Hitting a child in the head with a book. Kicking a child into a wall. Stepping on a child. Applying weights to a child. And that is still not all. One of them lifted a cot with a child sleeping on it causing the child to fall on the ground and then they forced that child into a small enclosure and all i could say right now is whoa because i'm trying to complete this video without becoming too emotional so these two daycare workers have been charged in this 30 count indictment that includes accusations of first degree cruelty to children second degree cruelty to children simple battery and a fl and failing to report suspect suspected child abuse while at the Air Force facility. But if convicted, they face a maximum of 20 years on each count of cruelty in the first degree, maximum 10 years on each count of second degree cruelty, and up to one year for simple battery, as well as one year for failing to report child abuse. So if they are convicted on all of these charges in this 30 count indictment, they can face up to 100 years in jail, which means they would never, ever see the light of day again. Well, I'm sure you're wondering, um, what was the supervisor's role in all of this? Well, um, she's been charged. Um, she did not get away. She's also being held accountable. 
In the charging document shows that 51-year-old Latonya May Lambert was indicted on one count of failing to report suspected child abuse, and rightfully so, because being in charge simply does not exonerate you when a crime has been committed. And if these actions were so brazen, it appears she knew or she suspected something that was going, something was going on, and she failed to take appropriate action. So she's also been indicted. And if convicted, she's subjected, she will be subjected to a maximum of one year in jail. And I'm sure this is something that Robbins Air Force Base definitely did not want to be released to the media. But they did have to, and of course, they had to address it. So they issued a statement to the Army Times, essentially saying properly caring for airmen and their family is our utmost importance. We are fully supporting the ongoing investigation and reviewing processes to ensure the appropriate measures are in place to safeguard our children. I bet you are. Now, one of the daycare workers, the one whose name is Flynn, was arrested on October 11th. I have to tell you, I've been searching for photos, but they've been very difficult to find. But she had her first court appearance on October 11th as well and was given a bond of $15,000. And I have to tell you, that makes absolutely no sense to me. I find this bond to be exceptionally low considering what they did to those children. Very low indeed, but that's what she got, a bond of $15,000 with stipulation that she was to have no contact with the victims and their families. She's also not to engage in activities with any other children except her own. Now, information on her follow-on court date was not available, and neither was information on the, 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 the bond for the other two individuals, which is the other daycare worker as well as the supervisor. And of course, investigators are saying that the case remains an open case and that the investigation continues. And for parents, as well as former parents who may have information or whose, ch whose children attended the Child Development Center during the period of the investigation, they're being asked to contact the authorities at Robbins Air Force Base. Now, I'm sure just about now some of you are saying, I'm glad my child was not involved because I would probably be going to jail. And I say, yep. I understand that sentiment, but it also seems like Robbins Air Force Base has a lot of work to do in order to regain the trust of parents, and I'm sure uh, there's going to be a major Inspector General investigation. It's probably already underway, and I won't be surprised if a few people are reprimanded or reassigned as a result of the findings. But I would be more concerned with the welfare of the young children, not really knowing just how much damage this maltreatment has caused. The indictment talked about brutal fights. Brutal fights! It's even painful for me just to say it. What the hell were these adults thinking? I won't be surprised if many of these children end up in counseling. Thank God they're at an early age where they probably would be able to outgrow the trauma as well as the aggression fostered by two idiots, two irresponsible daycare employees who deserve to go to jail, allegedly. And that's all I have for you right now. Feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this video. And by all means, feel free to like it and to share it. And if you haven't done so already, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. It's on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if you click on the bell that looks just like this one here, it's the notification bell. If you click on that notification bell, you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is uploaded. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.